OMG, all the designs are coming together so great. I hope you're enjoying this tutorial. Stay tuned okay, and keep cool. watching. So like and subscribe. A little bit. And now what we want to do is I'm going to show you. We're going to wet our brush. Move that out of the way. I want to pull the water over so you can see it. So we're going to wet our brush. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to slide the wet brush across the paint while it's wet. And then we're going to let it dry. So basically what we're doing is we're getting rid of the lines. Okay. And now it looks more like an atmosphere. And I do want like, I think I want like a lighter, some lighter blue in there. So I'm going to wet my brush. And I'm mixing some of that teal and some of the lighter blue and the white around in there. And then you'll see how it dries and it'll dry kind of with its own look. So I'm gonna let some of the water run off. It's gonna be really pretty when it dries. And then we wanna do the same thing with the pink, okay? And I don't want the brush soaking wet, but I do wanna run it across there. And all we're doing is breaking down, not breaking down, we're basically eliminating the lines like see how some of it will wash off which is fine because we're going to do glitter over there so if i take off too much i can just come back and put a little bit more on there and i can wet it because basically what we want to do is we want to knock down those lines And I'm just doing a dotting technique and then we're gonna let it run off to the side. Now what I wanna do is go back over it just a little bit. And I wanna get the excess paint off this from the water cause I don't want it to keep running off the design. Okay. So it's gonna start to look celestial as soon as we put our white dots and everything else on there. So let's do the other one as well. Now what I can do while it's still wet down here is I can go in and add just some of that blue back to it by dotting it up a little bit. But I wanna let that dry now. I don't wanna leave it alone, okay? So what you're doing when you're making your celestial look is you're knocking down the lines, okay? So that's how I was able to get that faded out look that you see in here. We just knock down the lines and we keep layering it until we get it like we want it. There's no perfect way. Again, I share with you that the sky is different in every country across the world, right? God makes different sunsets for every place. So we're just knocking down the lines. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of teal. I always feel like Bob Ross when I'm doing this. Add a little bit of white. And then what I want to do is I want to knock the line down just a little bit, but I don't want to muddy up the color. Okay, so then I'm gonna dot it up a little bit and then we're gonna let that dry. So now we're gonna do the same thing with the pink. So we're gonna come back and I'm gonna, I'm wetting my brush, taking the excess, let me get some of that blue out of there because I don't want that blue in my pink. Okay, so I left the brush a little wet and now we're just knocking down the lines, okay? Now notice that this band is a little bit wider than, I got too much water. So I notice that the band is a little bit wider on this earring than the other earring. So we can always adjust that, but let's go back and add a little bit more pink in there. And then what we do is we can go back over here and add a little bit more pink. Because again, we're just making an outer space look and design. And it may not look like outer space like right now, but it will. Okay. Let's add a little bit more. So it's wide like the other one down there. And then I just want to add a little bit of water to it just so. It knocks the lines off and gives us that Milky Way feel or that Borealis feel. So I'm gonna let that run off a little bit.
I'm just putting some of the color back in so when it dries, you know, it won't have all those black spots. And again, it's layering, and so I'm gonna go back and do some touch-ups anyway. But here we go. So I like how that's turned out. I think I wanna add a little bit more right there. Because now after this dries, and we get it like we want, we're gonna add gonna knock it down a little bit more. So what I did was I went on and added just some whites um, because I just wanted to brighten it up a little bit. So all I did was dot some white along what I feel like will be the Earth's atmosphere and like the oceans that you can see from outer space. And then I also wanted to add like some white along the edges of the pink. So let me show you how I did that. And I'm not gonna add too much more because I kind of have it like I want it, but like right in here, I'm just dotting using the side edge of the brush. And I, I really love how it turned out. And so let's let this dry for a smidge. And then we're gonna come back, we're gonna splatter it with the yellow and the white dots. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that because I don't wanna splatter it towards my phone. So we're gonna do that with a, um, I'm looking for the brush. Two different type brushes I'm gonna use. One is a fan brush. Let me put that one down. One is a fan type brush. And then the other one is like a, um, a I don't even know what you call this, only because I'm a stippling brush. So one is a stippling brush and one is a fan brush. So those are the brushes you're gonna need in order to get the yellow and the white polka dot effect. And then we'll put the glitter on once everything dries. So let me show you how I did that. And I'm not gonna add too much more cause I kind of have it like I want it, but like right in here, I'm just dotting using the side edge of the brush and I, I really love how it turned out. And so let's let this dry for a smidge. And then we're gonna come back, we're gonna splatter it with the yellow and the white dots. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that because I don't wanna splatter it towards my phone. So we're gonna do that with a, um, I'm looking for the brush. Two different type brushes I'm gonna use. One is a fan brush. Let me put that one down. One is a fan type brush, and then the other one is like a, um, a, I don't even know what you call this, only because I'm a stippling brush. So one is a stippling brush, and one is a fan brush. So those are the brushes you're gonna need in order to get the yellow and the white polka dot effect, and then we'll put the glitter on once everything dries. Awesome, so we are back, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the two brushes that I talked to you about, the fan brush. I know it may appear like we never went anywhere because it blends on over, but we're back, okay? These have dried. I think they have dried really pretty, and I love how they're coming together and turning out. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fan brush, and I already wet it just a little bit, and so you can get these in a multi-pack of brushes at michael's at the craft store and so i'm just gonna dip into the yellow paint and then i'm gonna do i'm gonna do it on a paper just so you can see what it looks like see it just gives you like a splotch right for those of you that have never used a fan brush and so i'm gonna do one and then i'll hold the other one up so you can see it now mind you we're making the galaxy earring and so it can be any pattern it doesn't have to be any specific rhyme or reason right we're just doing some yellows throughout the galaxy right so we're just doing a galaxy theme okay i'm not gonna put a lot because i don't want to be over yellowed so i'm dipping in the yellow paint okay and so the galaxy, again, your galaxy can be any color you want. And what's really cool is we could even do like gold glitter paint at the end. We don't have to use the same 
purple glitter that's running through the galaxy there. It can be gold glitter paint. You can use gold glitter nail polish. You can use silver glitter and just put it on some Mod Podge and run it through your galaxy, however, whatever you wanna do. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our stippling brush, which is a little white brush, and because we're working from the table or at the table, we're not gonna splotch it all up like I would if I was just working in the, um, in the kitchen sink or inside of a box. So we're gonna take some of it off and now we're just gonna stipple the paint on there. See? So I'm just gonna use a stippling technique and I'm just gonna put the white paint all over just in a stippling technique, okay? So your galaxy is coming together. Now these are supposed to just look like stars. It's just supposed to look like celestial bodies out in space. And so I'm dotting it. First, I'm dotting some of the paint off onto the paper so I don't get huge spots. Now, it would be better if you could do over the sink and do like a, um, like that type of technique, but I'm not over the sink, so I don't want to get paint everywhere. So I've wiped a lot of it off, and now what I'm doing is I'm just doing some dots so that it looks like galaxy um, stars and just space. See, look. I got too much up there. So in case you get too much, like I got a splotch up there, I'm gonna put a little bit of black paint on my brush. I'm gonna dot some of it off and then I'm gonna go over that and cover that up. Okay, so I just covered that back up. So you can always fix mistakes. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit more white up here at the top. I want a few more celestial looking stars in my galaxy. So look at how pretty they turned out. I really like them. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our glitter across the Aurora Borealis section. We don't have to wait for the dots we did to dry because the pink section or that band right there where we're gonna put the glitter paint, like that part's already dry. So we're gonna go ahead, see how they're matching up. This is our galaxy here. So here we are, we're gonna, so listen, I shared these the other day in another video. I didn't mean listen, like you're not listening. These are the glitter paints that I mentioned that I use and they're by Plaid. I got these at Michael's, they're gonna be on the paint aisle. So I'm gonna mix the two of them, right? But I'm not gonna mix them up in my, um using the same, what do you call it? I'm gonna clean off the end of the brush before I go back and add it. So look, see? Y'all may hear our dog just got a new ball and it sounds like a bowling ball. I'm like, I hope his little teeth don't, I mean, he's a little dog, but um, he has a ball that sounds like a bowling ball all of a sudden. So it just came down the stairs. That's what that sound was. I thought somebody fell for a second. So, I'm doing the band across there. And I don't think, I thought about adding a little bit of gold, but let's see, I might add just some gold because we are gonna put triple thick across this once it dries. And so I really think this is gonna stand out. It's gonna be gorgeous. So we're just adding some like so and zhuzhing it across there. I wiped my brush off before I stuck it in the um, the gold glitter paint. Look how pretty. I love how that turned out. So we have one more earring, I know, but I'm, you know, we had to break the video up because I didn't, I want to be a woman of my word. If I tell you I'm going to do something, I want to do it. So we're getting some of the purple paint. And we're spreading it across. And we're just going in a diagonal motion. You'll love this glitter paint. I saw where Latasha Edmonds had some mood changing paint. I'm about to hunt that down. I don't know where she got it from. I have to go watch the video and find out. Um, but I, I was like, that's pretty cool. So, you know, there's so many supplies that we can try and that we think about, you know, ways that we can make our jewelry unique from other people. So let's add our gold glitter paint. And then we have one more design and we will be at number five, I believe.
Take the wheel, Jesus, and design fast. Okay, so we're adding some gold glitter paint. I just had to wash my end of my paintbrush off. And yeah, I use the end of a paintbrush because we talked about that. It just gives you, you know, because we're just really gooping it on or glopping it on. And so I don't want to get glitter paint in my bristles. I don't know. That's another reason why I do this. So they are beautiful they are going to be incredible and if i wanted to i could finish these off once they dry by adding some gold stars that i have and i may do that um but for now this is probably the longest of all the designs but now you know how to do the galaxy design let's move on to the next design which is going to be one that i'm creating with the um stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree that I shared in the haul. If you haven't looked at our Dollar Tree haul, take a look at it over there. Stand by. Hi, you guys. Okay, so I am back and we are on earring number five. Thank you for hanging out with me on tonight. I am looking for the matching piece to this particular earring. Sorry for not being prepared. Oh, y'all, I'm so hungry. Oh, my gosh, I want some food so bad. What are y'all eating for dinner tonight? I think I'm going to do like a um, breakfast for dinner type thing. Y'all, I have lost the other base to the earring. Houston. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. Okay, so we're starting with pre-painted bases, as you know, and they're already pre-glossed as well. So I've had these for forever and I've been trying to figure out what to do with them. And initially what I was going to do was take um, a base that I already had and glue it on there and make an earring, something similar to that. But since I did the Dollar Tree haul, I'll share with you that video. Um, it'll be with the like and subscribe and it'll say next video. You'll see where the Dollar Tree haul is on there. But since I got the shapes that I shared in the Dollar Tree video. I bought these last night from the Dollar Tree and it's a pack of foam, um, foam pieces in all different kinds of shapes and styles. And so what I thought about doing was adding different shapes and different um, foam pieces to the earring. I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna match up the ones that we're gonna use on here and then we're gonna make a quick earring and that's going to be that. So I'm still, I think, going to use this piece because I like it. I think I'm gonna glue it to the end and then what I'll do is I'll make it a post earring. I'm not sure, let's see. So what we can do is we can lay out our design and see what we like. Let me see what we have in here. So this came with some diamonds it came with triangles, it came with circles, it came with hearts, and they're all really cool. It's kind of hard to decide what to use. Ooh, there's a star. Super cute. So I got these from the Dollar Tree, and now I'm just trying to figure out what I want to use. I think I for sure want to use the yellow circle. So let's find another yellow circle, and what we'll do is we'll lay out our design. And then this is going to be our final design for tonight. We made it to number five. Now, we don't necessarily have to use glue, but the reason I'm going to use glue is because I don't know how well the sticker will stay on the back of these. There's an adhesive on the back of all of the foam pieces, but I don't know how well they'll stay. So I don't want to take the chance of later on it coming off in the event I sell this design. Okay, so we are going to glue on our first piece which is gonna be this super cute foam circle. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the back, okay? A little bit of our E6000. I'm gonna put it at the bottom. And I really could leave it right there because that's really cute by itself with just the little yellow circle, but you know, we're not gonna do that. And then what you could do is you could add some lines and you could add some stripes, but look how easy this is. I mean, seriously, if all you did was paint the base to an earring, whatever color you wanted, and then glue down some dots to it, like how cool is that, right? So, so far we got the cute little glue dots. I could even add eyes to those if I wanted to. Look, I haven't shown you all these yet, 
but I have um, some eyes that I've made. This is going to be either a pendant or a, um, what do you call it? A hair bow or another earring because I have several hearts that I can work with. So you could add some eyes to the pair that we're making right here and they'd be super, super cute. But since we're already working, I don't know if I want to do pink because that might not show up. So I think what I want to do is either the green diamond shape or, you may hear my dog playing with his stuff in the background, or a blue triangle. Let's see. I think I like the green diamond shape. What about you? Don't give me a thumbs down. Just say you don't like it. <laughs> okay, so let's do the green diamond shape. And so all I'm doing is peeling the adhesive off the back and putting our E6000 glue on there. These things are pretty sticky, which is a good thing. And then I'm gluing that down. This is our fifth earring. Super simple, simple design. It's gonna be really cute. I think I'm gonna add like some, um, cause I have some paint left from over there from the other projects that we've done today. So what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna do like some random either lines or polka dots. Just to add some oomph to it. And there were some stars in here too. I'm trying to decide if I wanna add a star or not. Let's see. Cause I don't wanna completely cover it up, but So I think what I wanna do is leave it like that. I kinda of like that idea, the way that it is. And then what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna just do some paint. I mean, you can do so much. I mean, there's so many foam pieces in here, it is crazy. So I'm gonna take this back up. You could staple it back up, but I'm gonna take this back up right quick so the foam pieces, when I go to put them up, aren't falling all over the place. You know how craft supplies like to do. So let's get all that out of the way. So super cute. This is what we're working with. And we still have enough room left at the top where if we wanted to, let me fix the lighting. We could um, add a hanging earring. We could make it a post. We'll figure that out as soon as we finish putting the color splotches on here. So let's open up. What I do to preserve my paint and you all probably do this as well, is I put it in a Ziploc bag and the paint will literally last for about a week or so. It lasts for a pretty decent amount of time. So these feel like suede, they are so cute. So what I'm doing is I'm just pushing the glue down underneath them and I realized, I let, oh cool, I cleaned off my stipple brush and I think that I'm gonna wanna stipple some paint on here versus any other technique that I could use tonight, I think I wanna stipple the paint. So I hope that we have had a really great time today. I know that I didn't mean for it to be so long, but nevertheless, you have tons of ideas you can work with, tons of things you can move forward on, and it's just such a blessing to be able to be here to teach you on tonight. So let's do some stippling, and I think that I wanna do like some purple, so I think that I wanna do like some purple and some lavender. And I thought I had my water over here at the table, but I don't. So I'm just gonna start stippling around. I'm not gonna get it on the little dots. I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it. And then doing the little technique. I really like how it's coming out. I think I did get a little bit on the, the yellow dot, which is okay, it's still cute. So I'm gonna just make sure I put some on this side too so the dots match up cute and so you actually could paint those little dots and get a little bit of stuff on them if you want to I wonder if I should do that 
I really want to, but I'm gonna leave that alone. So the other thing we're gonna do is just a little bit of pink, a little bit of blue, and I'm just picking colors arbitrarily. I'm not necessarily thinking about what I'm picking. I'm just thinking about how pretty they'll be, okay? I really think it would be cute if you added something to the foam pieces, but I'm nervous if I do that and then it doesn't look right, I can't. I mean, I guess I could pull it off, but what do you think? You think I should add something? Let's see. So, I think that I'm gonna mix the pink and the blue. I like it, okay. So all I'm doing is stippling the pink and the blue and I put it over on the foam pieces. Look, how pretty is that? So I'm thinking now that I need to do something with the green pieces. So I'm thinking what I wanna do with the green pieces are some of the white and some of the teal. Of course, I don't know if that'll show up since it's teal and, the, and that's green, so let's see. I think these came out so cute. So that's making art. I mean, so look, we took our foam pieces. Look at the funky, fancy colors we came up with. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna probably turn those into a post or a hook design after they dry. So that's the end of the video. I pray that you had such a great time on today's tutorial. It was a race to the finish. I'm gonna show you everything that we made right here. And until next Tuesday, I pray you have an incredible time as well creating designs and that you would try different things as well. You would try some of the products, you would try some of the colors. Remember, that's the leopard print pair. This is the red pair. This is the celestial pair. So let me hold them up so you can see them. So that's the one pair that we made. They look kind of like a Chinese New Year to me. These are the leopard print. These are the pearls and polka dots. I'll have to clean up the backs of some of these pearls and the polka dots. And these are our celestial design. And then I'm going to show you the necklaces as well in the video as it's going by. So stay tuned. God bless you. And I'll talk to you soon. So here are the necklaces designed from elastic hair bands and painted bases. I hope you love them.